Okay, so Samazio and I have continued to argue, and basically my part of the argument has been that he's not making an argument, you know. So for clarity, and thank you, Samazio, though I think I had to, I had to be a bit rude. We seem to have gotten a little bit more focus. So we're back to what I had originally said, which you know I'm explaining at the time my view of. Um, why I support feminists, just brass tacks. I mean, we made a lot of videos about feminism here. And in terms of this issue of, you know, they're against you there, you should fight against them. It's like, I fight with feminists because I think they're part of the humanist movement. Uh, but, but the most direct reason, my direct experience is having when I work in a progressive activist cause, when I have in my life, which includes, you know, peace activism, trying to get, you know, keep parks, parks instead of turning into something else, uh, working for, um, you know, mainstream candidates, working for somewhat less than mainstream candidates, like your Jerry Browns or something still pretty much mainstream, uh, working for uh, um, what, what else would be an example? Um, well, I don't know. I'm trying to think of specifically not just things that I've done, but it's like when there was feminists there whatever. So they're allies. It's like, John, yeah, why you feel so much of a kinship uh, and you're always supporting uh, Joe there? And it's like, well, he was my brother in arms. We work shoulder to shoulder, arm in arm to accomplish something. I don't really see what there's to dispute there. So Samazio is like, wants to ask me for more proof that feminists have really been at things like that. I'm like, there's the internet. Just search, you know, peace activism and feminism. And um, he seems to want to do this thing where you can take a horse to water, but if the horse refuses to drink, I'm not convinced. Then you're supposed to keep trying to get him to drink until you just collapse of exhaustion. And I've been telling him, I, I don't care. And this is the other thing. I, I told you right up front, Samazio, I'm not going to have this argument if I don't know what your values are, right? I'm not going to prove they helped with progressive causes when I have no reason to think you're progressive. That's not going to convince you. You seem to think, but if I say jump through a hoop, then you're supposed to do it. No. No, that's never going to happen. I'm not going to jump. That's not how any mode of argumentation Certainly no formal mode, certainly not like a like, uh, formal debate or traditional uh, Western formal debate. No, I'm sorry. You can say a fact that, if left unchallenged, will make your case look good, forcing me to go get some facts and to fight those. That's it. You can't say, oh, oh, well, tell me, tell me, tell me some other examples. What else, though? What's your other reasons? No, you know, it's just it's, it's not how it works. I have no reason to do that. I'm not going to do that. Because you have, you would have to say something that will require me to go do that to support my argument, and you haven't. Okay? Furthermore, I told you, I'm not trying to convince you. I'm declaring my territory and why I'm standing in it. All right? And then you make a whole big deal about how it has to be about argumentation and convincing only to in the end say you're not trying to convince me just asking some questions you want to understand my view better but what huh no you already understand my view I think that they're allies in actions I've actually taken you call that testimonial it's also known as first-hand experience I don't need to cite you an article about feminists at a supposed um, function doing a supposed thing because that's not what my feelings are based off of. 
my feelings are based and you said or maybe also go into what you read no my I have been politically active my whole life and where I have learned most about feminism is talking to feminists and about feminism in progressive politics which is activism which is actually being out there you know at the county hearing for this or trying to stop the bulldozer or with the placard saying don't go into Iran I mean Iraq all you stupid warmongering people okay the feminists were there there's nothing to justify if you are telling me you don't believe my reasoning you're saying you don't believe my first hand account which is fine there's nothing else for me to have to demonstrate in that. You are on a fishing ex experiment. You would like to find all these things, and what's tedious about you is you're going to try to lecture me about the meaning of the word abstract, or what the mode of, you know, the rules of argumentation, as if there's one mode. And then I go, no, there's many. You go, yeah, I know, that's why I said blah, blah, blah. And then you go on acting like there's one. It's very tedious. You're not in a position to define the word abstract for me. You 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 were playing around like a kindergartner with those things, and that's where you want to go. Aha! But it, but it, but it. no, it it has nothing to do with where the argument is at all. I support feminism. I'm not trying to convince you to support it. I am saying how I support it, so you can have an idea of if you think you're going to convince me that feminists are bad for me what I'm working from. You're going to have to convince me they work against other humanist causes. And you don't even know about humanism and progressive active. You have no experience and you don't want to. You're going to think you can tell me to give you my experience and then you'll jump in the middle of it. I would give you the experience for the joy of watching you try to do that, but it's boring. Okay, it's tedious to hear you bouncing up there with your feather light feet with what the word, uh, trying to tell me what abstract means. Are you, that's just, I just, why should I take time to, for that? I mean, I read your stuff and, and, and I'm finding it's a waste of time. And your latest things, I have to scan them, okay, because you are trying to busy work me to death. Give me a bunch of facts I can ignore until I find one that I think I can make. Oh, you don't know what the word abstract means. That's not productive for me. The first rule of argumentation is for it to be productive, I think, in some sense, for the participants. And I try to do that. I try to let it be productive even for, for the other person. Right, and, and one way to do that is instead of trying to establish there's only one way of looking at things is if there's two people, first of all, find out the two ways they look at things. See how close they are to begin with. Like for example, if feminists stole you from your family when you were a child and raised you in teepees, well then I imagine I, I have a pretty long road to hoe convincing you that feminists are fight the good cause. Right? We need to know where our experiences and thus our values are coming from, what we value, what we think should be going on. Where do we stand? Because I don't believe there's just going to be one opinion in the end after that process is over. I think we're going to have to vote and look for compromises and middle ground. So people like you are going to actually have to declare where you stand eventually.